Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of Space Engineers. In the last episode, we were working on the grinder, and we just took a little bit of a break because we're kind of homesick since, you know, we used to live on the Earth-like planet, but, you know, we got trapped over here. <laughs> Pretty much the worst thing that could have happened. We were abducted and trapped out here. I can't remember exactly what happened. My, my memory's sort of fuzzy. Now, we know who did this to us, and we're going to be taking our revenge eventually. But for now, we just need to actually get back to the Earth-like planet. And, well, we need resources, so we need to finish this grinder pit. Then we need to actually start work on a large grid vehicle like this, but one that has actual warp drive technology. We don't have warp drive technology just yet implemented. Of course, we know about it, and we do have the technology for it. We just don't have a way of implementing it yet. Now, we're probably going to build a modular system, one that allows us to attach a warp drive system to the actual um, ship here, our Kaizo. Uh, so that way we can actually go to the Earth-like planet and kick some ass. But we need to prepare first. I know in the last episode I talked to you guys about going ahead and trying to play Blood Omen 2. But I don't know if that's a good idea. Because I went and I tried to like look at the game file... Um, that I had and see if it was just playable or if it was fun and I played around an hour of it and Honestly, the controls are horrible. I did not expect that game to even work, but apparently Oops, sorry about that guys. There was a bit of an interruption uh, For some reason my recording software stopped recording. I can't remember what I was talking about now <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry <laughs> Well regardless we need to get back to the Earth planet, and uh, I know it's probably going to take us a while. A really long time, in fact, because there are so many resources necessary to get back to the Earth-like planet. Uh, plus, we're going to need a lot of money because there is a lot of taxes to uh, go through some of the warp gates that we need to go to to actually make it to the Earth-like planet. It doesn't look like it's that far away, but it's actually really far away. And our first gate is actually on Triton, wherever Triton is. There it is. So we do need to make it to Triton, which will give us a direct line to go to Earth-like planet. Now, we, we can't go directly to the Earth-like planet, or we'll probably be stopped by the Galactic Federation. So we need to be really cautious in how we approach going to Earth. I know we are Earth citizens, or Earth-like planet citizens. However, they don't give a crap. They are corrupt as can be. If we're not careful, well, we won't see tomorrow. <laughs> They're not nice people. Um, don't let their name fool you. They might be for the people, but not by the people. Uh, they are not good people at all. So we have to be very, very careful in how we approach the situation. I was thinking we could try faking some papers, but I don't know exactly where I'm going to get the papers from. I know a guy, but he's too far out of the solar system. I'll have to see if I can't send him an encrypted message through the broadcast frequencies that I'm allowed to use on this planet. I'm just not sure if the line will be open. Now, there is the trading station down there, and we could try asking one of them if they have a direct line to the planet that I'm thinking of. But if they don't, we're going to have to go and go to the planet ourselves, which is extremely far out of the way. I mean, it's not easy to get to the Earth planet. We've got a lot that we have to go through if we want to actually make it there. I'm just trying to think about a strategy that we could use because it's not going to be easy by any means. Now, there is a smuggler on the alien planet that can smuggle me all the way to the Earth planet, but that's that's so many light years away that we'll have to go through warp gates. And I think that's almost 200,000 credits worth of warping that we'd have to do. And I don't have that kind of cash. We'll probably have to do a bunch of missions. And we're also going to have to secure a Federation ship. So, hmm. I don't know if that's a solution or not. Because we'd have to commandeer a Federation ship and then pretend to be them by by uh, broadcasting the Federation's signia. If we're caught, though, we'll be put in prison for the rest of our lives. God, over such a stupid misunderstanding and we could lose everything. This is ridiculous. Once it's commandeered, we have a 24-hour window to actually make it to the Earth-like planet. So we're probably going to have to commandeer it on the alien planet. And then we'll have to go to the Earth-like planet using that vehicle. And the Federation ships don't usually come with warp drive technology. They're just freighters. They're supposed to carry cargo. 
So if we want the trip to not take a millennia, because that's exactly how long it could take if we don't have the warp drive technology, then we're going to have to secure a warp drive on, uh, on the alien planet for specifically that vehicle, which we can definitely make if we have the resources, but I also need the jump drive code for the warp gates so that we can get to the Earth-like planet. And I'm pretty sure we can get that from Triton, like I said. I know it seems complicated. I know it seems complicated. There's a lot that we're going to have to go through. I'm probably going to have to write all this down because <laughs> I don't I don't exactly know what plan we're going to go through with. So so I'll definitely write that down and see if I can't keep my thoughts straight. But all right, guys, the grinder pit is done. So I do want to go take the going Mary or Kaizo and then drop something in here and see how it goes. I'm pretty sure I can grab this with uh, the going Mary if it's not dead. <laughs> the going Mary's just been quietly sitting over here for the longest period of time, just chilling. Alright, we're gonna have to get some ice. Going Mary needs some ice. Ah, uh, destroy! <laughs> I love the going Mary. Such a good little ship. Alright, we'll throw it in there, and then we'll set up a button so that we can just press it and watch it grind it down. It's probably not the best place to grab it, but I mean, it'll do. Oh, wow. This does not like ugh, this subgrid. Oh, it does not like the subgrids at all. Bombs away. <laughs> it broke off a little. Right, I'm going to put the going Mary up here at the top. I don't want to break the going... Actually, you know what? It's almost out of hydrogen. I should probably take it back and hook it up. All right. Six, seven, eight, one. There we go. Oh, I like how I could see the sign. That was pretty cool. All right. Now we need a button. So let me grab a button out. We'll put the button panel right here. Let me grab the materials. Oh, my God. I had the materials just on hand that's nice oh i didn't have the materials on hand that's terrible <laughs> i guess i had an, uh the steel plates on hand i just didn't have the other material on hand oh no it's out of iron again isn't it 644k of iron and it's running out i'm gonna have to take this uranium out of the inventory It's just there's so much uranium. I'm never going to run out of power in Kaizo. It's impossible. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> Let me look at the reactor. Oh, it's on. Okay. Just to make sure. The ship should theoretically just run forever because of how many, like, how much uranium it has. All right. Now that we have all the materials, let's create the button panel and set it up. Now, I did get a comment on one of my videos that I really enjoyed seeing. Uh, let me actually make a group really quickly. So he said in his message that I can actually rename the buttons. Wait, how do I rename the buttons? Uh, maybe in here. Oh, button one. Grinders. Oh, button name. Grinders. Oh, cool. All right, that's really cool. So button one, grinders on slash off. <laughs> he was right. That's so cool. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. This is a little more effective than I thought it would be. <laughs> that's awesome. There's just a wheel over there. Oh, look at it spinning. The spinning wheel of death. <laughs> look at it go. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at it go. Oh, my jeez. <laughs> this is awesome. This is my new favorite thing. Oh, my God. Calm down. Whoa, back off. Having it slanted like this definitely was a good idea. It does not want to get rid of this. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, there it is. It's officially out of the pit. All right, I want to go see what materials we actually got from grinding that down. We couldn't have gotten much, right? It threw half of it out of the... Ow! Grinder pit. That is actually a lot more than I thought we would get. 344 steel plates? That's insane. Wow. Grinding is really lucrative. I didn't think it would be this lucrative. Let me check to make sure it's not grinding down the walls. Oh, cool. It doesn't seem to actually be grinding down the walls. That's nice. Now, we do have this other vehicle over here. I definitely want to throw that in the grinder pit. I'm actually super excited to just start throwing stuff in the grinder pit whenever we get new stuff. Take the old gondola. Throw this one in the grinder pit as well. This isn't going to explode, is it? <laughs> I got to stop saying that. Because normally when I say that, then stuff goes and explodes. <laughs> this was a mistake. It wants to go backwards. It really doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> I am fighting this thing tooth and nail. Holy jeez. Calm down there, boy. <laughs> Ride him, cowboy. Why are you freaking out? Stop. Into the grinder pit you go. Well, you know what? I jinxed it. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that, because normally when I say that, then stuff goes and explodes. I said I hope it doesn't explode, and it exploded. That's my own fault. Oh, that's so cool. I guess a planet with, whoa, more gravity. Whoa. <laughs> Probably would be a little bit better for a grinder pit. Whoa, God. For a grinder pit like this. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know. There's just something about the pieces flying literally everywhere that just, like, brings some carnal joy to my belly. Just, like, the deepest parts of my gut. There's just this joyous... Oh, let me just... Oh, whoa. Don't take me with you. <laughs> There's just this joy. This... Whoa. <laughs> this unfathomable joy that just comes from these parts flying literally everywhere. I also like it because it's kind of like a scrapyard. You know, the more we grind down, the more parts are left around the place. That's kind of cool. Whoa, ride him, cowboy. All right, now we got to get to work on actually building the light towers that are going to be on the sides. I'm going to build it on this side first. I kind of want to build it out like that. Um, so how much does that go out? It goes one, two, so three out. So that's um, one, two... This is where it'll be. And then... Wait. How does that look? Okay, that is as thick as I thought it would be. Alright. You know what I just realized? I could totally put a block right here like this. Ah, you know what? That makes it kind of look funky. I don't like that. Go back with that. Wow, I'm out of steel plates? Well, I know where to get some more. <laughs> 330. That's not too bad. So I want to go three up like that. Or actually, let's just go one up and then have a piston. I should probably shouldn't put those on until I start welding it up. Piston. We'll put two pistons or one piston? We'll do two pistons because I want to put a, a rotating head. Whoa, calm down. Bro. Calm down. It's freaking out. All right. So a rotor up like that and then um, have it like this. And then a rotor off to the side like this. And then I'll have one, two. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to be rotating. You have power going to your system. Why are you rotating? I want to go with the smaller um, light armor blocks like this. And then on the back here, I'll have gyroscopes. So that way I can like move it to the left or to the right. Um, two will be set to allow me to rotate and one will be set to stay put. 
So now I just got to get all this welded up and we should be able to have like a little chair over here so that we can actually control this. It's not going to be a separate grid, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal since it'll have, you know, the gyroscopes on there. I should be able to just like aim the gyroscopes. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Let's move the going Mary back onto its little pedestal over here. Oh yeah, I should probably go check out that unknown signal. It's really close. Okay, I'll delay putting the going Mary back on its pedestal. I'm going to go over here really quickly. Check out this unknown signal. Oh man, we already got one of you. There is something we can do with you though. <laughs> yes. Come with me. Eh, just a little bit further. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. It sent me flying. Oh my god, this thing is zooming. How fast can we get you up to? This is like uh, that one sport. What is it? The one where it's like um, you push, uh, like you clean the path in front of the hockey puck. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I don't know what it's called. Street sweeping. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. All right, you're coming with us. We're gonna put you over here in a good home. I like just like throwing them, so I'm just gonna throw it. <laughs> All right, now we'll put the going Mary back and then we'll turn the grinder on and grind it down. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's just some parts that flew out. You know, it's not like a huge vehicle, so it'll probably like throw the whole thing out of the pit eventually. I wonder if it'll even grind up 90% of uh, what's in the pit. Or if it'll just throw the whole thing out on the first grind. We do need the light though, because there's not enough light over here. That is awesome. That is so cool. That is so cool. I hit the button panel and knocked it back in. That's awesome. Ooh, whoa, where'd that go? It's gone. <laughs> it's just, it's gone. All right, now what's in here? How much did we get from that? We're queuing quite a lot of uh, scrap. That's nice. I like it because it's like it's just working. You know, it's really nice. I'd hate to be down here. Oh my god, if this slid me down here at one point and I just got stuck in here, oh my god, I would freak out. All right, the stuff should be done crafting by now, so we should be able to weld up 90% or is it... Uh... Oh, we're out of iron again. <laughs> It's becoming a big problem. All right, there we go. Now it's all crafted up. It um, it didn't have any iron in its inventory. Again, we're crafting so much uranium in the refineries that it's just unfathomable amounts of uranium, which is normally not that big of a deal, but, but we have no room for anything else. It's just uranium. Like we're not even creating any iron at all. It's just uranium. All right, now we need to craft up all these. There we go. Now we just need to actually place the head on it. Place it on the bottom here, and then we should be able to place one like this and then have a full block. There we go. Uh, actually, let's get rid of that and let's put one of these. Oh, wait a second. I could, I could do this. Yeah, that doesn't look as bad. It looked horrible before. Hmm. I don't like any of this, actually. <laughs> it just, none of it looks good. I got one more try. Oh, that looks terrible. No, that looks terrible. Okay, what if I did this? Ah, no, don't respawn. I gotta have the control panel face in the same direction.
There we go. That doesn't look as bad. I can live with that. Get it all welded up. <laughs> I like how it had to do it three or four times. I guess, you know, I think when you pull it from the build planner, it pulls assembler by assembler, right? It doesn't pull all assemblers at once. It pulls assembler by assembler. I don't know. That's my idea, but it could definitely be wrong because like there is, there's some jankery going on 90% of the time with the assemblers. All right, so this one in the very center is going to be set to gyroscope override. So that means that it doesn't want to move up, down, left, or right. And then the other ones, I should be able to move up, down, left, or right. Um, since these are on a subgrid, I should still be able to control them if I put a seat down somewhere. So I'll have to have a control seat. And I'm pretty sure if I put it anywhere, I should probably put it on the side of this. I kind of want to put it on the side of the head, though. Like right here. Something ridiculous. Just put it on the head. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on the very side of the head. That'll be hilarious. <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it. We'll have a bunch of lights at the front. Um, because the gyroscopes are so powerful, I'm probably going to have to turn them way down, by the way. Actually, I should do that right now. The gyroscope override, we don't need to, but I'll have to turn this down to like 50%. I turn this one down to 50% as well. Because large grid gyroscopes are extremely, extremely powerful. There we go. Now I can make the control. Wow. Beat. All right. First test. First test. Okay. I do need to go to rotors. And I need to select both of them and turn their torque all the way down. All the way down. <laughs> yes, this is so cool. Look at this go. Oh, we can point it wherever we want. Yeah. Now, this isn't as cool as our automatic light over there, but it still is pretty cool. We can control the lights however we want, which is going to be really nice. But we're going to have to have a backing. Oh, that is slowly moving down. Maybe I need to... Do two gyroscope overrides? Maybe that'll fix it. Oh. You know, I can probably have a rotor lock. Wouldn't be too big of a deal. Yeah, I'll just set one of them to rotor lock whenever um, I'm done. Uh, so rotor, we'll click both of them. Call them rotors. Simple enough, right? Then we'll go down to groups, take rotors, put it in number one, and set it to uh, rotor lock. Where is that? There it is. One. There we go. That'll just lock it in place whenever we need it to. Alrighty, guys. That'll be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.